Jr. and today I am joined with Richard Tigg. Why don't you start by telling us a little about yourself, like your name, your age, and the community where you live. Well, I'm Richard Tigg. I live in Bethlehem. If I live to the 11th of this month, I'll be 86 years old. And I've lived in Bethlehem all my life. That's yeah. where you grew yeah. up at. Were you drafted or, vol or did you volunteer to go into the service? I volunteered. Volunteered. Um, which war were you in or what time did you serve? Second World War. Second World War. Went in on January 24th and got out in 45 and got out January 27th of 48. Prior to service, what was your occupation? It was in air sea rescue. And uh, if planes got, well, after when, when they went overseas, the planes got shot down, we had to go out and see if it, anything that we could find to, they never did find anything. Mm -hmm. Were you married before or during your service? Or after? After. After. Yeah. Um, what branch of the service were you in? Navy. In the Navy. What's the highest rank that you attained? Seaman first. Where was the location of your basic training? Uh, Great Lakes, Illinois. Illinois. Went up there for eight weeks, never did see the ground. <laughs> it was covered full eight weeks mm -hmm. in there. Wow, that's a long ways from home, coming from Bethlehem. Yeah. <laughs> um, were there any other bases that you were stationed at? No, only one is in uh, Saipan. That's where I put my year and a half in over there. What ships were you assigned to? Were you assigned, assigned to any ships? After I came back from OSA, I was assigned to the USS Boxer, which was an aircraft carrier, training pilots to take off and land. Did you make any friends while you were in service? Well, I hope I did. <laughs> Did you keep up with any of them after you got out? For a few years, yes, but not at, not lately. Um, are there any superior officers that you remember? Officers that you remember? Not in particular. Not no. Did you start you started safe size and overseas? Yeah. Is that? Um, were there any battles that you were involved in? No, there weren't any no no fights. Um, what weapons were you assigned to? or special equipment that you needed. Did you have any of those? Oh, the nasty rescue whistle is water. Mm -hmm. Everything was water. The air base, if the plane landed, they landed on water. It didn't have no land-based aircraft. So we had to go out and light the runways at mm -hmm. night if there's a plane coming in mm -hmm. that night. Then other than that, why well, just like everybody else waiting. Yeah. Um, were there any poor conditions or hardships that you faced while you were in the service? Not really. Only one I can remember now was we had a typhoon warning. We had to go up in the mountains and get in a cave and stay there mm -hmm. until it cleared the whole thing. Was... Um, is that one of the only close calls that you were in? Or were you in any close calls? No. How did you handle being away from home and your family? Well, I guess I have a unique way of making home wherever I'm at. Yeah, you just make it your home. Make it home. Did faith? You, you know you're there. You're gonna stay there. Let might as well leave. You might as well. Might as well make the best of it. <laughs> <laughs> did faith play a part in helping you cope with your time in service? Did faith help you in your time of service? No, not really. It's, uh... What did you do for fun or during your leave over there? Well, we, we didn't have no place to go other than stay on that one island. Uh -huh. That's the only place we had. So you had to make your own fun? You had to make <laughs> your own fun. <laughs> Fishing was the biggest thing on, on the weekends. We would take officers mm -hmm. out fishing. They would furnish the food and the drinks, and you're welcome to mm -hmm. it. But uh, I didn't drink, so yeah. I didn't involve in that. Of course, he had soft drinks too. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a weekend occurrence for just about every week. He had to take officers out fishing. That was a nice time to well, get away a little bit. <laughs> Did you receive any awards or medals? 
that you can remember. Uh, other than just being gone from home, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Do you have photos or uniforms or anything that you kept from your time in service? They got some at home there, but I didn't bring any. You have some at home, though? Oh, yeah. Um, what has your occupation been since leaving the service? I really don't know. We had boats with the, we had the captain's gig, we had a 45 foot, I forget now what to call it, mm -hmm. that we lived on. There's three of us lived on that boat. We'd go to the commissary, draw out enough food for a week, mm -hmm. and take it back, put it on the boat, and stay, lived on it all the time. What did you do when you come home, when you come back from after the service was over? In, in the, uh, California, landed there, and they got mm -hmm. a 30 day leave. Did you come back to Bethlehem yeah. when you got out? They got a plane from there into Chicago. It was an empty plane. There wasn't mm -hmm. a thing in it. Had one heat duck from overhead. That was in December, too. Oh, gosh. We liked to froze. <laughs> <laughs> so, but from, then I went from there back to California and got on that uh, USS Boxer. That's where I stayed at Alameda Air Base. Mm -hmm for the last time, a year and a half I was in their service. Were any of your family members in the service? Do you have any family members that? Not in the Second World War, no. Had any a, other wars though? I had the uh, oldest son was in the Korean War. Okay. Um, can you name your siblings or spouse or grandchildren that you have? You might give me a little time to remember the names that yeah. I might. <laughs> I've got nine of them. Oh goodness. And I've got nine great-grandchildren. Oh, okay. We had three boys and two girls, mm -hmm. and uh, they all live within 10 miles of home, so. That's nice to have your family close. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you active in any veteran organizations? No. Mm -mm. What would you say to today's young people who are considering going into the armed forces? Would you recommend it, or would you have anything to say to well, them? Well, it's an experience that I wouldn't want to do again, mm -hmm. but I wasn't going to get rid of it. Yeah, it was just an experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been great having you with us, and thank you for your time. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you.